All right, welcome back to Torque and Power, guys and gals. Appreciate you guys checking in to the channel. Today we are gonna be talking about the V-Rod, without a question. I'm in Illinois and the riding season is coming to an end here, unfortunately, but that's okay. We have so many projects to do and to film that we have coming up, which is great. But today, specifically, we're gonna talk about the V-Rod. Why the V-Rod? Well, I think a couple things. I don't think it really gets enough attention. You know, it's been out, you know, they did a 15 year run on this bike, but I really don't see enough on it. And it's such a great bike. And when it comes to the products and what it can do, this thing is just a freaking super cruiser. I absolutely love this bike. It's actually, out of all my bikes, in all like sincerity and honesty, you know, not, not like I'm, I'm counting the Rebel back here, but even on my sport bikes, my ZX-11 and the Fatboy S and the V-Rod and the Street Glide Special and all the ones that I've driven, it truly is my favorite, is the V-Rod. I always love getting on it. I love that bike, love it, love it, love it. Just has so much personality, but, so I figured it'd be a good thing to actually film it. And what we're gonna be talking about today is the Super Intake. It goes by different names. It could be a Moto Hooligan, was originally what it was, the, the intake that's underneath the airbox cover over here. Um, and then Tab got a hold of it, right? And they call it the V-Rod, the Super Intake for it as well. Uh, it comes in two different finishes, and I'll kind of flash that up for you guys so you guys can see it, but it comes in a black, and then it comes in like a uh, raw aluminum look, I and mean, that's the one that I got. So I thought it'd be pretty cool. I get a lot of questions, because it's not a cheap piece. It's like 500 bucks, and a lot of people don't do it. A lot of people don't do this piece, and that's because a lot of people, what they do is they take the intake, I'll show you guys that too, the stock intake, and they just drill holes in it, or they make it topless and they run it from there. So why sit there and invest 500 bucks into a piece when you can just take a stock piece and go ahead and do it? Um, I never went that route. I went straight to this guy, to the super intake, but I'll give you guys my review and my, bi my unbiased, my unbiased review on what I think about it, uh, performance-wise and such, and if it's good, if it's bad. Uh, if you're thinking about purchasing it, because like I said, it's not a small amount when it comes to it, um, but, you know, it's something to consider, right? It's something to consider if you're a big performance person like I am uh, my, myself. Um, maybe it's something that you wanna get, but if you're not familiar uh, with this bike, this is my 2017 V-Rod Muscle. And I'll give you guys kind of a little bit of a look at, it's kind of sitting in its little spot, it's a little perch over here in the wheel chalk. But uh, it's my 2017 V-Rod, it's the last year that they made the V-Rod. Um, and this one is the Crushed Ice Denim. So Crushed Ice Denim, and it's the Deluxe. And all that means is it gets this black on the top. I don't know if you guys can see it, there you go. If you guys can see that, it gets a little black and it gets that two-tone look. And it's actually got a little silver pinstripe all the way around it. Uh, they did do the white with the black combination several times during the 15 year run of this bike. Um, now the muscle was only made in 09 to 17, but of this particular color of the crushed ice denim, they only did it for one year and that was 17. And now this bike, I wanna say, boy, I always kinda goof it up, but I wanna say there's 154 of them in the world, that's it. So 154 of them made in the world, they only made the bike for three months. Uh, 2017 was the last year, uh, so obviously it's going to be limited in production. But And if you guys are unfamiliar with the V-Rod, underneath this right here, as opposed to other bikes, right? So we got the Street Glide kind of sitting over here. As opposed to the Street Glide, this guy is actually the fuel tank, right? Like it is with other Harleys. But on the V-Rod, it's a little bit more unique. Um, a lot like your new bike, your Sportster S, your Pan America. Um, those things have air boxes up high as well. It's not sitting on the side of the bike. So this guy is actually the air box on this bike, right? So underneath here is actually the air intake and the fuel and the gas tank is right underneath there, right? So you guys can see that. And then in here is the five gallon tank that holds it for fuel, and I always thought that was very cool. But because it's a dual overhead cam motor, it's much higher, 60 degrees, and then there's an air intake underneath there. So that's where that super intake is. 
So I thought it'd be pretty cool. Um, I'll take this guy apart a little bit uh, in order to get to it. Unfortunately, the muscle is a lot more work than the Night Rod Special or any of the others. You actually have to undo all these little torqued bolts to actually get to it. Uh, I'll show you guys and I'm gonna start it up. Uh, I think it's gonna be pretty unique. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Um, it is a different noise than the different stock air box that comes with it. So, yeah, and I think we'll go from there. So, uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, like usual, you know, hit me up below. Let me know what you think. Um, anything else you want, I do my best to try to get back and answer you guys. But otherwise, I'm going to take this guy apart, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take a look at it. All right. All right, so we are back. I'm going to do my best to kind of discuss some of the stuff that I kind of uh, glazed over uh, earlier. Some of the stuff that's real positive notes when it comes to this, uh, which I will show you guys here in a second. I showed you the old intake to the new intake and a couple other reasons that kind of persuaded me to spend the money on it. Okay, so... So we took everything apart. Uh, we got it over here on the Firehawk in case you guys have never seen it before. Here's two of the, this is the stuff that takes a little bit of the time, right? So there's about 10 bolts in order to take off. If you happen to own a Night Rod, Night Rod Special, one of the earlier V-Rods, um, I hate you because uh, you guys just pop a pin, this guy right here, and boom, comes off, all right? So uh, you guys disgust me. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, it is more work when it comes to the muscle, unfortunately. I do like the look of the bike, so what you gotta deal with. But it's, it's easy, you know, you just got paint you gotta watch out for. But uh, here's the intakes, which, uh, I don't know why I even call them intakes. They're not intakes, they're just fake, as you guys can see it. If you guys ever wondered if that was real, it's not, it's not real at all. Uh, just gives it kind of that old muscle car -y look, right, to it. And then there's the airbox itself up on top of the Firehawk so you guys can see it nice and clear. So uh, that's the pieces you got to take off. It's, it's easy. It's like five minutes worth of time. is isn't a big deal. Just take your time. Be cautious with it. So have it off before we get to the actual intake, the startup. I thought it'd be neat to kind of show you guys the actual old airbox itself. So I have it apart and this is what... It looks like so if you guys can see it this is the top cover this guy goes on just like so as you can see and this is where the air intake comes from right this little guy right it runs into this box and then it goes into the filter but a boom and then down you guys can see it and then it goes straight on I know it's not the clearest there you go and then it goes straight onto the throttle bodies uh, and then directly into the motor, right? So easy thing. Not knocking the setup at all. Uh, when you guys do look at like this front nozzle, it creates a vortex. And this is straight from the engineers who designed this stuff, right? So where from I heard it from. So it's not like more air, having more of it is just gonna create more power. It doesn't work that way, right? So the air gets circulating here, it forces it faster into the air box, makes the power, right? Can you get more power out of it? Sure, of course you can, right? Um, but there's trade-offs. There's always trade-offs when it comes to it. Um, I had before, as you guys can see, I have the K&N in this guy. It's tough to tell, but the K&N filter is in there. I've had it before. Did I notice a difference when it came to the K&N or the Screaming Eagle filter? No. I mean, you don't, you don't notice anything. I couldn't really. Um, but everything was fine with it. But there is a downside with this air box, and that's what I'm gonna get to in a little bit, uh, which was another little convincing part of why I bought the Moto, Moto Hooligan or the Super V-Rod intake. So, all right, without any further ado, here's this $500 intake. Is it worth it? Let's take a look. Uh, and there it is.
It is freaking pretty. If you don't think that's pretty, if you don't think that's art, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know if we can be friends, but uh, I love this freaking thing. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, as you guys can see, it's got the Moto Hooligan right on the front there. Uh, and like I said, this is just the cast regular aluminum one. It was a very easy install. If you guys don't know, Tab has an install video. If you want to watch it, it's, I don't know, like 20 minutes, something like that. It's a very easy install. Uh, so anyways, let's, let's get to the pros and cons of this guy, right? Pros, do I feel more power from this thing? Yes, I do. A smidgen, a smidgen more power. Smidge of more power. I don't, it, you know, the most I've seen when people have dyno these things have been about two horsepower, right? So two horsepower, is it worth 500 bucks? No. I mean, how do you justify money to power and whatnot? Is it worth 500 bucks? No, I would not say it's worth 500 bucks. Uh, but I love this freaking bike. So I had to have it. And I just, I just think it's, it looks so cool. It looks gorgeous. Uh, so 500 bucks, 200 horse, two horsepower, two horsepower. Really not there. Um, but as you guys can see, it's got a lot of intake space. And where the air comes in from the front up here, which it would go into that nozzle, it goes directly into this box, and then it has all of this. And then in turn, if you guys can see it, it goes directly into the throttle bodies down there. So it's got the intake that attaches directly down to the throttle bodies. Uh, but now the factor, if you are thinking about a V-Rod, okay, my legs are starting to get a little bit uh, numb. But if you are thinking about a V-Rod and some of the issues that comes with it is the little oil tube, the little breather tube that goes into the air box on the stock one. It tends to leak over time because of the O-ring and it drips down onto the engine. Everybody kind of freaks out when they first see it. If you're, if you're not used to it, people freak out a little bit. And because you see oil dripping down the cylinder. It really isn't a big deal at all. Um, all you gotta do is fix that, it's annoying. What's great about this guy, this Moto Hooligan, is that remedies it, it's gone. So that tube that you guys see, now I'm gonna kinda bring it down here, is gonna be right here. So right, there it is. So you guys can see it right down here. That tube, this guy right here that goes down into the engine, that's the guy that leaks. And it goes straight up into here, and that guy gets remedied, okay? Hopefully you guys saw that. So you don't have any other leaks. So now it comes down to, is two horsepower and that little ring worth it for 500 bucks? No, it's not, but I like it. I think it sounds cool. Um, it looks certainly cool. Unfortunately, I can't see it until just now. Um, but I would do it. I would do it all over again. Um, but now some of the stuff now, when it comes to, just hit my plate in case you guys are curious what that noise was. Uh, and I can't even show you the old hose and the O-ring because actually my brother, he's got a 2017 Night Rod Special and he's got more miles than I do on mine because that's his primary bike. Um, I got the Street Glide and the other one, so it's not my primary. But he took my tube. Right, he took my tube, he took my ring, so he has it. And this is now his, I wanna say his third time replacing it, and he's got what, 18,000 miles? Again, it's not a big deal once you know what it is, it's a real easy thing to replace. But if you don't have to do it, hey, more power to you, right? So uh, I can't even show it to you because he has it. So, but anyways, that's some of the things. Uh, it is a little bit noisier, so when it comes to it, when you're riding along, clearly you don't have this box anymore. So I'm like in and out of the shadows with you guys, but you don't have this top piece anymore. And when you don't have this top piece to cover this guy, clearly you're not gonna have the noise reduction when it comes to it, okay? Uh, this guy now, it's wide open. There's zero box on the top of it. All it is is just a cosmetic box that I showed you guys before, so you are gonna hear it. But what do you hear? All you hear is the cams running so you can hear a little bit more of it. I like it, it doesn't, it's not like anything that throws me off. I mean, my God, the exhaust certainly <laughs> drowns that out and all I have is Vance and Hine competition slip-ons. I don't even have anything that's like a 
two into one that my God is that loud, but we can go over that at another day. So it is a little bit louder when it comes to the intake noise. So would I say that would put me off? No, no. So honest review of this guy, if you want to spend 500 bucks, uh, you got it burning in your pocket and you want maybe one to two more horsepower and this is on a stock 1250. Uh, maybe I'll get a little bit more when I put the Jones Stage 2 cams in. But for right now, if you want two horsepower or more and you want to saw that little oil leak that's on the other side that when it does happen, then this is one way to go, right? For sure. Um, but I love it. I love it. You know, I mostly did it just because I really love this bike. So to me, it was a no-brainer to actually put this guy on. So I hope that helps out a lot of you guys out there if you're thinking about this guy. Um, but let's start it up. Let's see if you guys can actually hear. It's going to be loud in the garage. You're probably going to hear more of the slip-ons than you are of the intake. Um, but let's give it a little whirl. Let's see if you guys can hear it, okay? So let's go ahead and flip this bad boy on. And there it goes. I got the alarm too, in case you guys are curious. That's what that little beep noise was. And there you go. Hear the fuel pump running. And she's in neutral, right? Yeah, she's in neutral. Okay, I don't know why she's a she. She, he, I don't know. I think we call them all she's, but. And let's see if we can hear it. Okay, here we go. And a lot of exhaust noise, but let's see if you guys can hear this. Just like a little bit more, right? I mean, it's probably not coming through on the camera. But there you go. So, I'm not sure that really even came through at all, but when the airbox cover is on, it is definitely clear that there is a little bit noise, a little bit more noise that does come from this guy. Um, I think it's minimal. I mean, the exhaust certainly is a lot more than anything else, but uh, so hopefully that helps. Uh, like I said, it's a real easy install. This thing is not hard to do at all. Uh, I, I think it looks like an absolute jewel. It's beautiful. So it's kind of up to you guys. The ball's in your uh, court, whether or not you guys want to drop 500 bucks on it. Uh, but the uh, V-Rod is a great bike. So, you know, if you guys are up for it, uh, let me know. If you guys have any comments or anything below that maybe I missed or I didn't talk about. If you guys have a good eye, you can also see, I also have the lithium battery in there as well. Uh, but we can talk about that down the road as well too. So. I'm gonna put this guy back together, give it a little cleaning before, of course, the little winter where this thing just kind of just sits. And then uh, down the road, make sure you guys hit subscribe and like because we will be doing the Jones Stage 2 on this guy. So you don't wanna miss that. This motor's gotta come out, we gotta do Stage 2 on it, put the cams in, put it back in, and then uh, off it goes and it gets tuned. And we're gonna film that as well. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. Uh, thank you again for checking in the Torque and Power, and we'll talk soon. All right, appreciate you. Later.